You know the IPO market has been red hot this year. But we're always on the lookout for the overlooked deals that managed to slip through the cracks. That's what happened back on November 20th when Navigator Holdings came public at $19 a share and then popped just 5.3% on its first day. Not bad, but not like the huge spikes we've seen with so many other recent deals. Navigator is a Wilbur Ross backed shipping company, you've seen him on Squawk a lot, that transports liquefied petroleum gases, LPG, like propane and butane, along with petrochemical gases like ethylene and propylene. This is a strong business as demand for liquefied petroleum gas is rising worldwide at the same time that we're producing a heck of a lot more of this stuff domestically here in the U.S. Now, Navigator has 23 handy-sized ships. That's the smallest type of bulk carrier. Eight more on order, so the growth runway here is very real. The stock's given you a nice 18% gain since I recommended it two weeks ago as an overlooked IPO. Can it keep roaring? Let's take a closer look with David Butters, the chairman, president, and CEO of Navigator Holdings, to find out more about his company and its prospects. Mr. Butters, welcome to Mad Money, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Have a seat. Thank you. Uh, now, we're uh, on this show, we've talked a lot about carriers of oil, about dry bulk carriers. This is the first time we've talked about liquefied petroleum gas. How does it work? Where does it go? Well, it works uh, very simply, Jim. Uh, it's gas under pressure or under refrigeration so that it's liquid and can move very effectively and efficiently. We get it from all sources. It's really a byproduct. It's a byproduct of other functions. It's a byproduct of natural gas production. It's an, a byproduct of oil refining. And very importantly, it's a byproduct of manufacturing of LNG. Understand, when you make LNG, you're freezing and compressing gas, mostly methane. Out of that process, 5 or 6 or 8 percent is LPGs. LPGs have a universal global market. You can ship them. And that's been a real driving force, really, over the last 8 or 10 years, because so much has become available as a result of this global buildup in LNG. And I think what comforts me is that business of buildup of LNG manufacturing mm -hmm. across the place in the forward looking time frame, we're looking at East Africa, we're looking at Australia, we're looking even in the United States with more LNG plants, more LNG plants, mm -hmm. more LPG, and it gets sold and it gets shipped. Right, Mr. Butters, I was trying to figure out whether your company, rather than just lumping in with some of the shippers, I, I kind of see you as an energy logistics company. Absolutely. You know, we are a logistics company because we are interplay between, you know, the production and the ultimate consumer. But so much is happening today that's, that just begs infrastructure play. I mean, new terminals new transportation techniques. All of this is playing out in this new structural change that's take place as a result of, well, principally in the United States with shale gas. Well, that would mean, that's one of the reasons why I was so glad you don't have a lot of longer term contracts. To me, when Marcellus comes on, when Chenier comes on, we don't want you locked in at some lower price. Well, I would like to be locked in at any price, but that's not the nature of right. LPG business. It's really a re relatively short business. Incidentally, I like that. Okay. I like that because it prevents other competition to come in. You know, shipping is notorious for people coming in and looking for long-term charters and building right. out, and that, it, it destroys the industry. LPG tends to be relatively short-term. Uh, we, on the other hand, uh, have been lucky enough because of the flexibility of our semi-refrigerated, which means we can both produce that liquid either by freezing it, chilling it, or compressing it. Other vessels really only can handle chilled product. So it's a great flexible vessel that we have. Um, so that, you know, uh, we're looking to the short term, maybe 50% of our business over the next year is contracted, 25% over the next year. But that's the way we've lived for forever. And yet, Jim, if you look at eight or 10 years past, the utilization has been 97, right. 98, 99%. Can't do much better than no, that. No, that's why I think that you're a great long-term play. 
and my favorite now in the industry because the others have let us down and you are well, experienced man I'm who've done a lot a, a lot in the right <laughs> segment. That's Mr. David Butters, the chairman, president, and CEO of Navigator Holdings. There are many good reports out about this. I want you to see why I think this is the best now of the shipping place, also the best run. Stay with Kramer.